How are we doing guys? McCann here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video. It's currently 4 minutes past 6 on Tuesday evening and we're just about to load up Ultimate Team and see exactly if there is any content. I'm hoping there's content, obviously, um, but we'll just load it up and we'll see what we've got. <coughs> so obviously the icon moments are still there, um, that's still the first batch of them. Um, icon swaps, obviously we have 9 tokens until the mar March of 26 and then that's when we get access to our next 9 tokens and then obviously the team of the week is still the same until tomorrow so I will obviously check objectives and milestones first guys in terms of objectives I've completed Kukurela and Rennie I'm just working away for fun at more leisure, it's nothing too, too strenuous um, week 1, week 2, life at friendly, squad battles st still have up and basically the same, absolutely no new objectives which Obviously, as not expected. Milestones, probably just going to stop checking this area, guys, because there is genuinely never anything there. It's just a completely forgotten area. So, unless we have an SBC, guys, then there is actually no content for this evening. Um, Herman Zinchenko, Tony Cruz, <laughs> the forgotten man, Tony Cruz. Oh, nice three segments, though. G, G, G. Um, this Tony Cruz has actually been knocking about in the foot band. Since Friday, I believe. Um, so that's like four days. Um, everybody was obviously anticipating it on... Um, when was it? When was these released? Everybody was anticipating it to be released on Saturday night, the same time as pa uh, Patrick Herman and Zinchenko uh, showdown SPC was released. But it's obviously taken them until Tuesday night, Tuesday evening, to actually get this SPC um, active. We did have a look at it. Um, and we done our last video on uh, the weekend content on Sunday. Um, we did have a look at his card, so we know exactly what's the best game styles and stuff from. But I just will go through it again. Um, I'm just going to double check and see if there is any other content as well, troops. Um, obviously, your your mid to prime icon upgrade, the Poznan for a small real rare gold players pack. Um, so it's. Champions League common one max for the same re uh, sorry max six players for the same region slash nation nationalities minimum three um, team overall rating a seventy and eighty five chemistry I think we could maybe complete this in now and uh, get a small rare players pack open just in case there's anything exciting in that so a common player from uh, the UEFA Champions League we will go for let's go wait and ball fire him up there so it needs to be nationalities minimum of six and then but the same nation so we can just go with a german team i believe it needs to be seven rares as well so we'll go with bundesliga and um, it cam there so we'll put a uh, hoffman in players of the same nations regions all right so you can get basically six germans in here which is fine and um, it doesn't actually need to be that big in terms of um Rating. so we'll put the bar in there needs to be seven rares as well so i need to start picking up some rare cards so what we'll do is we'll just fire that in there and we'll change that to gold rare as well don't know why to be using any silver rares because in case we do the german again i need to keep um gwendozy michaelele can actually go and right back i need to keep schmidt and gwendozy as they're, they're in my leslie Fofana team um, so we'll fire him in there uh, can we look at Premier League or League 1 for... I'm really lacking in terms of fodder, guys, due, due to the fact that... Um, we can go with Premier League. Due to the fact that we we, um, we used our... We use all our fodder on upgrade packs, basically. Um, quite bad for them, to be honest. And he keeps Sacco as well, so we're going to struggle for... Um, Premier League defenders, I believe... We'll put Bertrand in and Mankyo. That's fine in there. Needs to be seven rare as well. So we'll take. Might just I'll just put Lossa in. That gets us the rare. So we need to get another three rares. So we actually need to take one of these out. And um, we'll probably just take him out in there. Hopefully we've got a Premier League a rare card and fire that in. Esquiedo can go in. That's fine with me. So we need to go to Bundesliga for another rare player. Bundesliga strikers, we'll put Alexander Flair in. Um, we need one rare and it needs to basically 
PS10 game. So I've got any Premier League centre backs. Let me do double check. I need to keep Sacco, man. I used to shoes. Dang them. Needs to be a rare, doesn't it? Damn it. Damn it. Three seconds. Three seconds. Put Cruz on, I think. and just because it is a card that we pack quite frequently so that is a small uh, gold players pack guys we'll just open that and then we'll have a look at Tony Cruz we've already got modded up on the club bin at least boards for this would be excellent so six players five that are gold of the Poznan SBC so may walk it in fact it's a copper with the Torres player so there could be something in here Nah, we will get a couple of Premier League players, three Premier League players back, which is actually not too bad. So that is your uh, your Poznan SPC guys, but I'm just going to take these stuff up in and we'll have a look at, in fact what we'll do is we'll look at the requirements for Tony Cruz first. Um, I hope it is three segments guys, I'm hoping it's nothing too strenuous man. Um, so the first squad is a Bundesliga, minimum one player, team of the week's minimum one, 83 with 80 chemistry for a prime mix players pack. La Liga Santander players minimum 1, Team of the Week minimum 1, 84 rated with 75 chemistry for a Prime Electrum players pack. And for a Premium Gold players pack, it's a Team of the Week, an 85 and 70 chemistry. Um, he, I believe he should be coming in at roughly about 200, 220k or something like that, 250k. Again, the card the card is very, very good, guys. There's absolutely no getting away from it. We know that with the 5-star weak foot. Um, is it meta enough this year? I'm not actually too sure. We'll have a wee look at my foot bin now. Um, we can see exactly what we're working with. So if I just refresh this, it might actually tell us how much is coming in. It's actually coming in at 381k, which is actually quite a lot, to be honest. Um, I'm not actually sure if this is an SVC that I'm going to complete. Um, when you think about it, an 83, an 84 and an 85 rated team isn't actually too bad. It's not too bad, um, but when you think about the card you're actually getting back, I can remember actually suggesting that an engine chem style is definitely the chem style to go away. Um, gets the pace up five and five split, acceleration eight seven, sprint speed eighty, and then it gets your agility up five with your balance up ten as well, plus your dribbling's up ten, and then obviously your passing just kind of um, basically maxes everything out in your passing other than your free kick accuracy. I've heard a basic is actually really good on them as well. It makes them a ninety five cm. Obviously your agility goes up 5, um, your ball control and your dribbling are up 5 as well and then your sprint speed's up 5 to 80. So you do lose the, the extra 5 bonus on your, your acceleration there. But it does catch a wee bit of the shooting stats and then it catches the majority of the passing stats as well plus the strength and the jumping. Which again, the jumping is kind of irrelevant. It's too, too low a stat anyway to try and get a chem style to compensate for how low it is. So um, a basic definitely works on them. A dead eye is a nice calm. Um, even with a hunter, if you want to try and get that a pace, makes him a nice cam and a nice box to box. A shadow makes him a nice CDM. Obviously, you're defending again, you're heading accuracy and your sliding tackle are just a wee bit too low to actually try and get them to recover um, and try and make them into new usable stats, basically. Um, the shadow definitely does work if you're planning and playing them CDM. I think it would be very, very good as a box to box and a 4 4 2 for absolute sure. Secondary CM basically allowing so for example if you played him in the middle of a part with Valverde or Canty if you were able to get the two of them into a team um, you would have Canty or Valverde or some 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 sort of player like that who would do the majority of the sitting and then you would just basically let Tony Cruz play um, if he was wanting to go forward or you would put him on balance so if he was going to go forward you wouldn't mind that too much I would definitely just suggest the Indian game style as I said I feel like you need to catch the agility balance um, just to try and get them up a wee bit I feel like the balance at 87 and the agility at 80 is just a wee bit too low um, and then obviously the sprint speed is low as well I wouldn't focus too much on the physical and the defending stats reason being is because other than your interceptions your defending stats are too low at this stage of the game to try and get a chem style that will make them basically high 80, 90s basically um, the same with the physicals the strength and the stamina are not too bad the jumping and the aggression are far too low to try and get a chem style to try and help them start suit. Obviously, passing doesn't necessarily need touched, but as I said, the engine for me catches the dribbling, catches the pace in the right areas, 
and then obviously it maxes out other than your free kick accuracy and your passing stats. So that is definitely what I would suggest. I feel like this is a wee bit too expensive though, guys, and that is my only issue. I didn't, I didn't actually think that an 83, an 84, and an 85 would cost nearly 400k. Um, so I'm a wee bit, uh, I'm a wee bit, uh, a wee bit shocked by that. He is there for 20 days, which gives us from now two weekend league rewards. Um, if you're willing to craft this, I, I know Tony Cruz has been one of the best midfielders probably for the last 10 years or whatever you may want to say for how, however long it may be. Tony Cruz is a player that I definitely like. Um, I, I think he's absolutely brilliant even now. Um, is it an SPC I'm going to complete? It just kind of depends on if I get the fodder into my cover or no. Obviously the 85 isn't it too... It's not too big a squad, but obviously with the accumulation of the, the 85, the 84 and the 83 does make them... 380k is worth so it's entirely up to you guys in my opinion it's definitely a better value than the patrick herman and the zinchenko species i definitely wouldn't even complete them they've only got 23 hours left anyway would i have them over the the curtis jones probably probably would i feel like uh, uh well the curtis jones is actually an 83 and 85 and an 86 so he's coming in at cheaper than the curtis jones do i think he's a better player um Probably I, I probably would prefer to have Tony Cruz in my team than an 88 Future Stars Jones. Um, so obviously he's got the nice 5 star weak foot as well guys. He's shooting for distance and stuff is very very nice as well. So, um, yeah, shooting is really nice in 98, 94 long shots. But it's definitely a card um, that people will be completing. I know that just because of who he is. Again, I'm not really sure if I will complete, complete him. It just kind of depends on what I get for fodder and stuff. Um, and we'll see, what, we'll see where we go for there but it's definitely a card that I would actually like to have in my cup um, and obviously me being me in terms of SBCs it's probably more likely that I will complete them but we'll just need to wait and see but it's been long overdue this 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 card's been in Futman database for basically since Friday night um, we, everybody thought in terms of the community and stuff the videos I watch and stuff everybody thought it was actually dropping on Saturday night so he's definitely late um, but it's actually quite a nice card him being a flashback as well, it is a flashback from his prolific 17-18 La Liga season. So it's definitely a good card to get your, your hands on. There's just a few worrying stats about it in terms of the fact that, um, if you actually look at it again, the physicals and defender are a wee bit low, the pace is definitely a wee bit low. But just in general terms, 5 star weak foot, nice shooting, nice passing, nice dribbling, other than agility balance, as I said, they do need worked on. Um, Probably would just put the engine on him, get his acceleration 87 and then 80. His shooting, as I said, is very, very nice. Um, very well rounded for a centre mid as well. Passing doesn't actually even need touch, but with the, with the engine chem style, your passing does um, get the extra stats as well. And then obviously your agility balance is, is caught with the 97 balance and the, and the 85 agility as well. With the, with the engine chem style, which is pretty good. Let me just double check that. I 97 balance and 85 agility. So that is actually not too bad. So let me know if you're going to complete this, guys. Um, as I said, I'm not entirely sure. It just kind of depends what I get into my club. But um, if you are enjoying the content, troops, don't be fair to leave me a wee like in the videos. It would be very, very much appreciated. Subscribe if you've not already subscribed. Again, I, I am very grateful for that. But as I said, let me know if you're going to complete them, guys. But um, that is the end of the video, troops. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, cheers.